Hi and welcome to this ES6 Essentials training course. My name's James and I'm going to be taking you through a complete look at all of the ES6 features so that you get a good understanding of what they are and how to use them and so you can start using them in your own code and projects. So in this video I'm just going to give you a short introduction to the course and answer a few questions that you might have. So I'm assuming because you're following along with this course you want to know what is ES6? Well, from a technical point of view, ES6 is version 6 of the ECMAScript standard, hence where the ES comes from. And ECMAScript defines the kind of functions and features that are available for a particular language. But as far as we're concerned, ECMAScript can be interchangeable for JavaScript, as JavaScript is an implementation of the ECMAScript standard. And this version was published in 2015, so as of recording this video, it's about four years old. So it still feels quite new, but in terms of technology, and particular web development, four years is quite a long time and a lot of other things have changed since then. The good news is though, because ES6 has been around for a little while now, most of the features are standard in browsers and Node.js, so you can make use of most of the features without having to worry about browsers not understanding your code. But I will be showing you later on in the course how you can transpile your code down to previous versions of JavaScript so that older browsers can understand your code. So one of the questions you might have is, do I need to learn ES6? Can't I just learn standard JavaScript? Well, the simple answer to that is, if you are following any modern JavaScript course, such as the Junior Developer Central JavaScript Essentials course, then you're probably learning a lot of ES6 features already, as up-to-date courses will include all the up-to-date features of JavaScript. So the second part of that question might be, why do I need to learn ES6 individually? In other words, why do I need to go through this ES6 Essentials training course? Well, you might want to update your knowledge from an older version of JavaScript so that you can make use of all the new syntax and features. But also there are quite a lot of features that are usually skipped over within a basic JavaScript course that are available with ES6, but they can really improve the style and the quality of the code that you write. So this course will not only teach you all of the basics of ES6, but will also look at some of the more advanced things too. So just to give you a brief summary of what we're going to be covering in the course, we're going to be looking at things like constant variables and scoping. We'll look at some of the changes that have been made to functions. We'll look at some of the new data types that have been introduced, such as template literals and symbols. And we'll also spend a bit of time looking at destructuring arrays and objects, and also modules, which make it really easy to import and export code from different files. Then some more of the advanced features we'll look at are things like generators and iterators, maps, sets, and weak maps and sets. And we'll take a look at some of the new built-in methods that are available with ES6. And we'll spend a good amount of time looking at promises and how they can be used to handle asynchronous code. And then finally, we'll take a look at the internationalization and localization features to handle things like language and currency settings. So that's it for this short overview. Let's start the first lesson by looking at constants. 